a second. I think we're good. Is this good? Yeah, this is good. Let's redo the hair. I don't know why you always turn this orangey. I don't know what makes you think that orange is like a, a good white balance. This is much better. You fucking moron! Okay, let's do this. What's up? I'm Thomas and I make stuff and this is making a fully automatic crossbow part 2 actually so if you haven't checked out the last uh, video then check it out up here <laughs> but um yeah so where did we where did we stop last time? Thirty-two point seven. That's sixteen point three five. That's right around here. Yeah. We'll use M8 bolts to secure the spring steel to the crossbow. Uh, six mils. That's the magic number. Six mils. And the other side as well. Okay, look, look, I know, I might have gotten a bit too excited with the spring steel arriving. Um, weren't we, weren't we working on something else before, before that? Okay. We were, we were making some gears, right? Well, let's, let's go back to that. <laughs>
sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. Ooh, yes. Okay, so uh, it's been a few days, and uh, my hair has gone even even crazier. But anyway, uh, so the, the little aluminum block with the M8 bolt inside. You're probably wondering what this is for. Well, well, we 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 just made the front gear, right? Just just the thing with the thing which I hurt my hand in. You know, you know. Yes. Uh, so. I 3D printed some parts for the back gear as well, and it accepts the aluminum block, right? And uh, the aluminum block uh, accepts the motor shaft, and you have a screw to tighten it, and the, yeah, you, you, you get it, right? Uh, and then the bolt sits in the bearing just like, just like the other, the other one, yeah. We, we also have three of these spring steel strips for for the cross I mean that's what crossbows have right and we got two of these uh, uh, plates th things to attach it to the main body thing it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward okay okay so look I was I was kind of thinking may maybe we should maybe we should make this crossbow out of wood I mean it's this this is where it gets kind of complicated because like I, I you can't really 3d print wood uh, and and making it by hand is yeah eh. we have these uh, nice wooden strips that you saw in in the intro though so I, I guess we can just make it out of that uh, and I'll show you my my super secret technique to make complicated parts out of out of wood and um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, don't tell anybody because it's obviously super secret and I don't, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, again, don't, please don't tell anybody about this, it's, I, I don't want this, this thing to get out, so. So you take, take the, the piece that you want to make it out of, right, and then, then you take the 3D printed part, right? You know what you do then? You just slam it on top. And oh, what? Ah. Okay, okay. So, look, the thing is, my energy is kind of like depleted right now. Like I can, I can only really just do this once. Uh, and um, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I, I think, I think we're gonna have to make the next one legit. It might seem pretty complicated to make this all this stuff out of wood, and and I mean that's because it is. But I do have some 3D printed patterns which are gonna help me out trace the wood on the router and stuff like yeah. You'll, 
I mean, I think it, I think it's I, I think it's the I think it's time for me to stop explaining things to you and uh, for you to just just watch the build montage. I mean, this entire video was basically just more build montage than than video. Like it's, it's just it's it's just a huge old montage. This can no credit. Uh-huh. Look, sometimes you just stumble across one of those days where everything that you do just completely goes wrong. And this is one of those days. Yeah. But hear me out, this one, still fixable. Just a tiny little bit of epoxy. Hopefully we'll do this job. Hmm. So the epoxy turned out very shit. It's it's very bad. It's a it's an absolute piece of trash. So uh, I made a fourth fourth one of these guys, and uh, we'll just try it again and again and again until it until it works. I mean, the first one went so well. I don't understand. I mean, sure, I did cheat a little bit, but let's let's just do this. Come on, man. Come on, man.
Okay, cool. That went quite well, I'd say. So that was the fourth time? Yeah, so the trick is kind of like to not um, go against the grain. Yeah, that's probably not a very good explanation, is it? You can't cut into the grain that's still gonna go into the part that you don't want to cut in. Because, because then it's just gonna pull away the grain from the part that you don't want to cut in and then it's just gonna crack and pull itself apart. Is that better? Maybe I should make a little illustration. Okay, so for uh, the rest of all the routing, I mean, I'm not gonna show it because it's, it's kind of always the same. Probably not very... You've already seen this stuff. What do you think about the lights? Pretty cool, eh? Orange and teal. By the way, so like there's the, the big light here, and then there's some more light on this side of my face, right? It's just my computer screen. Ooh. Okay, so I'm not really gonna show you all of the other routing because it's kind of always the same. You've already seen this before. Let me check this out real quick. Oh wow, this light is even more dramatic. It's been five and a half minutes, uh, bef like... <laughs> it's been five and a half minutes since we started the routing, so I think we should just move on to the next part. Just... This light is way too dramatic. Let me... Let me just... better? <laughs> oh, and it's it's uh, time for uh, soldering right now. Yeah, I'm gonna make you watch my bad soldering with some, with some funky music. Uh, I mean, you can you can always skip this, but like, I mean, you're not you're not gonna skip this, right? I mean, it's just it's just a short little part, just just some bad sol soldering, just some, some electronic soldering. You know how it goes? Like, it's it's a uh, you're not gonna skip this. You, you mean it's almost done anyway. <laughs> Stop. No, just, come on, for real, stop. I know, I know you're about to skip. Just, like, it's almost done, come on, man. Be a good guy, do not. Please don't skip this part. I mean, I know it's, it's bad soldering, it's funky music. Come on, come on, man, please. Just watch this thing, come on. Awesome! So now we have every single part that we could ever need for the crossbow. We have the body, we have the steel, we have some electronics. Covered up with blah, I've got a bunch of 3D printed <laughs> got a bunch of 3D printed parts that you have not seen yet. And uh yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. So I will see you in part three. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh. <laughs>